Hello everyone, Aaron here and welcome back to Leet Code. Today we're doing the maximum difference between node and ancestor problem. Given the root of a binary tree, find the maximum value v for which there exist different nodes a and b where v is equal to the absolute difference between the values in a and b where a is an ancestor of b. A node A is an ancestor of B if either any child of A is equal to B or any child of A is an ancestor of B. Okay, um, that's just a really complicated way of saying if you start at A and walk down, you'll hit B. Um, <laughs> sorry, I was trying to wrap my head around that sentence. It's technically correct, but a rather complicated way of saying it. But the other thing to be aware of is because it's an ancestor relationship, we could pick the 1 and the 14 and say, well, wait, great, there's a difference of 13 there. That's a huge difference. But they're not ancestors. If you start at 1 and try and walk down, you're never going to hit 14. And if you start at 14 and try and walk down, you're never going to hit 1. Um, so th that's not valid. Whereas if we start at the 8 and walk down, we will eventually hit the 1. Um, or if we start at the 8 and walk down to the 7, or the start at the 8 and walk down to the 13. Or start at the 10 and walk down to the 13. All of these are valid ancestor um, child relationships. We want to find the biggest difference. So here they suggest the largest one is 8 minus 1. So this node and this node, the difference between them is going to be 7. This one here. We are best going from 0 to 3. That is the largest ancestor relationship. So basically we just need to traverse the tree, keeping track of what our ancestors are and finding the largest difference. Um, max. diff is going to be equal to float uh, negative float inf um well i guess we can actually set it to zero to begin with um how do i want to do this actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to set this to be a um attribute and then I'm going to do self dot max diff root um, return self dot max diff oh let's let's not use the same name for uh, both a, a method and an attribute um, right Um, now we need to keep track of the ancestors. Actually, no, we don't. So I was going to say, if I'm here, I need to know that the ancestors are three and eight. I don't actually need to know that. I need to know that the smallest ancestor is three and the largest ancestor is eight. Because if there was another ancestor, say a 5, a 5 is never going to be further away from the 6 than the 3 or the 8 are. Because these are the most extreme values we've seen. No matter what value I see, the one that's furthest away is going to be one of those extreme values. The least is none. Greatest is none. Least great is if least is not none, least is equal to no well. If greatest is not none, greatest equals no dot value. So that's this is just filling in some default here. If I'm at the eight, for example, there is no greatest or least uh, ancestor, 
Um, so I can just kind of say, well, zero's, <laughs> uh, oh, well, the difference will be zero to its ancestors effectively because it has no ancestors. So I'm going to set the least and greatest ancestors to both be eight. Um, right. Then what I want to do is self dot max diff is equal to the max of one of self dot max diff um, no dot val minus least no dot val minus greatest. So what we do is we end out this correctly. Um, we take the current maximum difference. We take the difference between the node and the smallest thing we've seen so far and the difference between the node and the greatest thing we've seen so far. One of these two is the best we can do for this particular node. So if we're looking at the six, we could either have three difference to the three or two difference to the eight. So this would be a, um, so this, this will be three, this will be two, but the max difference we'll have already seen will be seven. So we're just gonna hold on to that. <laughs> um, then what we want to do is we need to adjust our bounds. Um, if node.val is less than least, least is node.val. If node.val is greater than greatest, greatest equals node.val. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to go down each uh, branch, self.diff, node.left, least greatest, self.diff, node.right, least greatest. So at the eight, this is fairly straightforward. These come in as nuns. Um, these, these are all gonna be zero effectively. So the max diff is gonna stay at zero. Um, eight is set for both the least and the greatest. Um, so then we're gonna say, well, on the left-hand side, the least and greatest of uh, uh, ancestors of three are both eight. So here we will do, well, both of these are now eight. This is going to be zero, uh, eight minus three is five, eight minus three is five. Um, so this will get set to five now, and then we're going to adjust our bounds. Three is less than eight, so the least becomes three. Three is not greater than eight, so the greatest remains eight. So then we go down the left, this is going to be given a three and an eight is the least and greatest. So then we can do our checks. Well, this is currently a max diff of five, seven, one is less than three. Um, oh, I, I, we've got a problem here. Um, <laughs> one is less than three, so that's correct. So that's the least is gonna get updated to one. One is not greater than eight, so the greatest is gonna stay eight. And then we're gonna try and do the diff on a none here, so. If node is not return, stop there. Um, we don't want to try and then work on the children of seven, so it's going to be fairly pointless, but I don't think a priori we can know that. We have, we simply have to traverse the whole tree. It's a binary tree, but not a binary search tree. So we don't know, well, we don't know there's any structure to this tree other than it's got two children. They could be smaller, they could be greater, they, they, they could be equal. We, we just don't know. Um, yeah. I think that's as good as we can do. So let's run it. Let's first off check if I've got any silly typos. I apparently do. Int and none type. Oops. Um, why did I say if not none? If these are none. Silly, silly. There we go, that works better. So it's working on this big tree here. It's also working on this tree here. It correctly found the difference of three. Excellent. Let's submit it. 
and it works. Perfect. <laughs> um, I can't complain about that. So this. This is a neat wee problem. I strongly recommend you do it. Um, I am on holiday as of right now when this video is released. I'm probably already on a plane. Um, so do uh, the next few weeks we'll be doing every other day rather than every weekday. Uh, so Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, they're all pre-recorded videos because I, I can't guarantee I'll be able to actually do any recording while I'm away. Uh, I'll be back in January, so we'll, we'll return to regularly scheduled programming at sometime in January. Hope you have a wonderful um, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever is being celebrated at the moment, even if you celebrate nothing at all. I do hope you have a wonderful time off. Um, spend time with family, with friends, with whoever is important to you. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>